Hello, Blizzard fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another Daily Blizzard upload. This is between Daedra and Pinhead Larry on Alaralat Crest. This is actually Astrea, an American member of Team Ascension. He formerly played for Root <clears throat> and qualified for WCS America 2014 Challenger League. And so he's a really, really amazing Protoss player. Let's see, we'll introduce him first. In the top right of Laralat Crest, we have the purple Protoss player. It is Pinhead Larry, also known as Astrea. And again, just a really, really solid Protoss player. He is currently 113th in WCS rank, has 150 points total, so very, very solid that way. And in the bottom right of Laralat Crest, we have the yellow Zerg player. It is Team Ascension's Daedra. Now we've seen Daedra before, a very solid Zerg player in his own right. He's given Vampy Worm fits of his own from time to time. He does have the nice spinny Team Ascension logo here. So I expect this to be a very, very close match. And we'll see if Astraea can live up to the billing and the hype that he has earned so far. Alright, so going double gas here into the gateway as well as using Chrono Boost obviously on the Nexus. This is the latest build of Legacy of the Void. And so the Chrono Boost is available at all times and never times out. You'll notice down here it just has a cooldown of 1. Which, I don't know what that means in this circumstance actually. Because it just kind of sits here on this building endlessly. It never actually expires. Never actually seems to cool down. So I don't know what's going on there. That was a 15 hatch though from our friend Daedra. So playing again, very standard Legacy of the Void play. You can do this against Protoss. You can go 15 hatch and really not be punished for it at all so two workers in each assimilator right now for astrea probably going to go for that adept opening yeah not using any money at all on that gateway for a zealot would rather spend the money on the adept a lot of people have said you know it kind of makes them sad that the zealot doesn't have much utility in the early game anymore it just makes more sense to spend the extra gas and a little bit of extra minerals on an adept that are way better against lings that are better against workers uh, the ranged ability is nice the psionic transfer makes them that much better than the zealot unit and that's just kind of the way it is. I, we might see a change here before we go retail with Legacy of the Void. The current date for that is November 10th. So a little bit sooner than I expected, to be entirely honest. I really thought for sure. And are we supply blocked? We are supply blocked on that. Oh, oh no. That Nexus is coming up in a pylon as well. But anyway, I was going to say that's a little bit sooner than I expected to see the retail come out. I thought for sure when Blizzard was like, it's going to be winter 2015. I was like, December 31st, 2015. But no, November 10th. So, pretty exciting stuff. The launch event's going to be nuts. I'm very, very certain about that. Meanwhile, back to some StarCraft action. A third base now coming as well for Data. Recognizing, okay, there's a second Nexus here. No crazy one base play, which I haven't really seen a lot on my channel. But, you know, it could actually happen. You do want to scout out before you take that third base as there, just to be sure. We're trying to knock down these this rock tower here to close off this additional avenue of attack for our friend Pinhead Larry, also known as Astrea. We have an Adept up here. I'm just going to get some scouting off using Psionic Transfer for nothing more than an ability to get across the map very, very quickly. And here he comes, another Psionic Transfer, again, just to be used to get up ahead, move a little bit more quickly, and also scout ahead. It's very, very smart to do this because this does have vision. But here we come, going to get right on top of all of these drones. The drones aren't quite sure what to do. They do manage to escape, though. A couple of them die. The Queen getting shots off. The Lynx trying to get a surround. The Adept using Psionic Transfer to kill what it can before it escapes. And, bada, abracadabra, we are back home with three kills to our name. Somebody did recommend I show the stats for the new units. So, Adepts do have 10 damage, 23 versus light, a range of 4, weapon speed 1.61, and targets ground. So, making them very good against drones and lings and marines and light units like that. Protoss Plasma Shields, they start out with zero. They do have one armor, though, which makes them very tanky as well. And now, again, the 10 damage applies to buildings as well. So, going to try to take down this rock tower all by himself. You'll see how slowly... This is going to happen. I mean, it takes three. Yeah, three shots per one little block of health there. Meanwhile, Daedra is just droning up. We are getting two evolution chambers. I love to see that from Zerg. You really need those upgrades, especially against the Protoss. And a cannon's coming up. Why do we have... I guess a cannon, just to make sure no crazy Ling attacks come on in. A lot of sentries as well. This guy trying to scout around, trying to get into the base but to see what's going on. But nope, the sentries take him down. Sentry's also trying to take down this Overlord, trying to explode him before he can get on in and scout things out. But he already sees the Robo Facility, which is nice. That's a good pickup for him. It's not anything like a Stargate or anything too crazy like that. Is that a Robotic Support Bay? It is, Robotics Bay. So coming up here with perhaps, perhaps early Disruptor play. I don't really know. We're patrolling Ling's back and forth. This third base is up and running for Daedra. Has he actually killed this Rock Tower? No. He's still working on this Rock Tower. Let's watch it fall though. Ready, set, go. 
Now this guy's trapped outside. How sad for him. It's like the Berlin Wall. East Berlin. West Berlin. Help me. I'm missing my friend Zergling. Please let us cross. No, we are the Wall of Berlin. You cannot cross us at all. Alright, so Link's come around. Try to get surrounded on the sit-ups. He's just been trying to knock down this rock tower, you guys. Leave him alone. And if Pinhead Larry Estrella wants to get out of there, needs to go now, and then he does. Is he going to get there before he dies? Nope. Doesn't escape. Adept kill on these lings. They're very pleased with themselves. But here comes an attack. Hey, zealots and sentries. All right, zealots getting some play here. They can be a little bit more useful, especially towards the late game. The lings trying to scout, but nope. Instead, they all just die. Another couple lings comes in. This is pretty big. Good force fields, though. And the lings just bypass the entire army. Going to try to get in. Did we recall like 10 feet? Yeah, we use the Mothership Core ability recall to recall like one screen over to get back to the natural to prevent that Ling counterattack. But I guess that's exactly what you wanted there if you're Daedra is to prevent the Protoss army from moving out. The longer you can keep them from moving out, the more you can get upgrades, the more you can get your Spire. For example, Spire coming up disruptors on the way here for Estrella as well as well as the, I always forget this one. Gosh dang it, what was it freaking called? Gravitic Drive. Whew. Gravitic drive for the warp prisms to move faster. A twilight council as well. So two base and a lot of tech here for Estrella. Three warp gates coming in. The Ling's just scouting around, making sure there's no hidden tech, no proxy pylons, taking this watchtower here as well. And there it is, warp prism and a phoenix coming in. There's nothing here to defend against this. Disruptor shot, ready to go. Oh, good pull though. Ooh, not as good as I thought. Disruptor did get a few drone kills there. I think about six. Because the Adept got three before, and then nine have died now, so that makes sense. So six drone kills for a shot. That's pretty much worth it, I would have to say. Where did that thing go? Oh, there it is. Trying to find a new place to drop, and there it is. Another drop. Run. Good splits here, Daedra. Get out of there. And uh, the Disruptor isn't quite sure what it wants to do. There it is. Does pick up a... Hmm. Not as nice as I thought. Vampy Worm with the dot, dot, dot. I guess he's watching this match as an observer. <laughs> So, 10 total drones have died so far. Not really mm, a massive amount. Daedra still has 57 workers to 49 in favor of Estrella, but a third base is now up for Estrella. He's trying to wall off here behind this rock tower with buildings. He really doesn't want Zerg to get through this at all. And are we actually going to try to kill this? Yeah, I got us around, but couldn't quite get it. Because nothing in the air can deal with this warp prism quite yet, except for the mutas. Mutas are going to pop here, and double stargate. Did I say no stargates earlier? I did. Double stargate here for Estrella. He has everything. He has robotic support bait, robotic space. He has <laughs> stargates. He has a twilight council as well. Where's that twilight council? There it is. He is researching blink. He's got phoenix. This is insane. All right, so the lings, I haven't seen much gas. A ling muta heavy composition coming out. A roach warren as well. Getting plus one carapace, ground carapace, and melee as well as plus one flyer attack for the mutas. And a fourth base coming up at the same time. Can we actually get the nope? Disruptor again is forced to retreat. 23 drones have died. Oh, another disruptor shot down here. Good grief. The disruptor harass is killing Daedra right now. He really needs to do something about it right this very second to prevent that from happening again because he's down to 56 harvesters. Okay, up to 62 now. Up on Australia by one, but man, that is just super effective at this point. Hanging out with the Mothership Cord to photon overcharge these pylons if entirely necessary. That is another change to this latest patch that we have seen. Warp Prisms just kind of running around trying to find hidden bases or places they can attack. Mutalisks might accidentally scout out this Warp Prism if they keep going that trajectory. Nope. They changed their mind. They don't... Oh, now they do head over. Are they going to find this Warp Prism? And they are. Excellent. Gets right on top of it and kills it. It can run away because it's fast, but not faster than Muta's. And the Warp Prism does end up dead. But there are still Warp Prisms available. Hallucinated Phoenix trying to kill that Warp Prisms. That never happens. Another one as well coming up does manage to expire but now there's real phoenix coming over and phoenix are an amazing answer oh my goodness another disruptor shot the splits are okay but man 27 workers have died so far for daedra this is just delaying exactly what he wants to do he has corruptors now which is good corruptors are good against these phoenix balls but yeah the mutas are never ever going to be able to touch these phoenix if they're microed properly and astrea is a good enough player to make that happen i uh, just said that and he walks right on top of them but None of the Phoenix actually dies. So let's not worry about it too much. A couple of Corruptors as well are going to chase those Phoenix off. Running around with an Observer just in case. There's something we want to kill in the air. Uh, like Observers. This is actually an Overseer, not an Observer. Regardless, both players are just kind of hanging out right now. We are at the 9 minute mark. It is 138 to 146 supply. Daedra is ahead. Has 72 workers with this 4th base up. He's playing this extraordinarily well. Going to try to deny this 4th base for Estrella. 
Is he going to get it? Going to try to get the surround, but no. The army comes in. There's a couple disruptors. And are going to try to get rid of that massive, massive Phoenix Ball. Nope, the Stalker's on the ground. Good force fields. These links can't get in here at all. But we're going for it anyway for Daedra. Look at that beautiful surround on the force fields. I don't think this is going to work whatsoever. He's waiting for the force fields to expire. Now we're on top of all of these Stalkers. And that's a much, much better position for the Zerg player to be in. The Corruptors are still alive. Still chasing away those Phoenix. The Lings, there are too few of them that they're forced to retreat. The Disruptor is here as well. Disruptor that. Disruptor has zero kills. And this one also has zero kills. So the ones that have been getting the kills, I'm not sure where they are because they need to be recognized as being awesome. But we have Roaches as well. No Lurkers. Surprisingly for Daedra at this point. You'd think he would get a Legacy of the Void unit considering it is a Legacy of the Void cast. But in the end, not really. Twi or Templar Archives coming up as well for Estrella. Already pushing in. Warp Prism trying to get a drop off again. Doesn't quite do much here. The Corruptors are trying to find what they can. Are they going to get a Phoenix? Yes. One Phoenix goes down. Why are we standing and fighting Phoenix to go down? More than backing out again there. As I take a quick drink and we get back on into the action. Phoenix moving out. Mm, they might actually accidentally run into these Corruptors again. And they do lose one for their troubles. Going to try to deny this base once more. But what is this? Mass cannon play. Can or trying to get us around with the Lings. Disruptor shots actually not doing super well though. They kill a few... A few of the Lings, but not many of them. Roaches as well coming in at the same time. This Gateway Army not doing well against Roaches or Lings. If we're honest with ourselves, Time Warp going down. Kind of missing on everything at this point. Trying to pick up this Queen and kill it. No Spore Crawlers at this space. I'm kind of surprised by that for Daedra. But net, trying to get through these rocks. Actually using Caustic Spray. Depowering all of these buildings. Excellent play there by Daedra. Caustic Spray, a new ability that does 7 damage per second for 4.3 seconds, then increases to 35 damage per second against buildings only. So, making Corruptors a little bit more useful, I like to see that. Again, going in with the links with a mass amount of Roaches. But the Force Fields are good, and there's a single Archon here that really needs to turn around. There we go. Oh, it ends up dead, though. Gets focused down. It is Roach against Stalker, and honestly, Roaches are really good, unless the Blink Micro is fantastic, and in this case, it looks like it is. A Photon Upper Charge going down on this pylon way up here. None of the ones down here doing much, but we do have cannons as well. The roaches do have plus two, plus one, plus two carapace, as well as plus one. The cannons are not long for this world, but double photon overcharge. Bam, one pylon goes down. Are we going to focus down the other one before warpins come? No, more and more stalkers are warping in. It's going to be very, very close if we can actually kill this base for Daedra. Ling's strolling in as well, doing an excellent job against these blink stalkers. This Photon Overcharge is still happening, though, and finally going to be taken down by those Lings. Disruptor Shot comes in. Uh, whiffs on everything. Excellent Micro. Are we actually using... Oh, tried to use the Immortal Micro there, but the Warp Prism gets taken down by the Corruptors. And that's it. Astrea calls the GG. Daedra is victorious, and Astrea has left the game. So, amazing, amazing play there. Lings, Roaches, Corruptors using Caustic Spray, sniping down Pylons. Just fantastic. He lost so many workers early on. 28 drones died here, but Daedra did not give up. He kept pushing. He kept going for the composition that he needed against this gateway heavy mm, composition here from uh, Astrea. And in the end, he was victorious. So pretty fantastic game. Thanks for submitting that Team Ascension. I really appreciate it. I'll go ahead and put a link to your webpage in my description here. But as always, this has been Falcon Paladin with yet another Daily Blizzard upload. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, you take care of yourself.